Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel with Central New York's most accurate forecast. Good Tuesday morning. In case you missed it, the numbers from yesterday, we had a high of 46 degrees, and then right around midnight, we dropped to 16 degrees. So it was very mild during the day, but our temperatures got a lot colder. So getting you out the door this morning, you need to bundle up. You need to wear the hats, the gloves. We have feels like temperatures below zero. Our air temperature rises into the mid to upper 20s, but that's where it stays. And although it's not quite as windy as yesterday, it is still breezy. So our feels like temperatures across the area, it feels like 10 below in Rome, 13 degrees below zero in Watertown, 8 degrees below zero in Fulton, and 6 below in Cortland. Our latest wind gusts, 24 miles per hour here in Syracuse, 25 in Cortland, 32 miles per hour in Ithaca. So not quite as strong as yesterday. We had wind gusts up to 50, 60 miles per hour, but it is still breezy. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour are possible this morning, and then it gradually uh, calms down later on this evening and into tomorrow. Our feels like temperatures, they stay below zero this morning, rise into the single digits for midday, and then eventually we get into the double digits, the teens, later on uh, this afternoon and this evening. So here's a look at Live Doppler 9. We zoom into where the action is, and we do still have some lingering lake effect snow stretching from Weedsport down to Marcellus into Tully and portions of Cortland and Shenango counties, especially with the wind gusts this morning. That's going to blow around that light, fluffy snow and create reduced visibility. So just be careful, especially out on the roads. There could be some icy spots as well. Our temperatures, they're going to rise again into the teens by the time we get to later on this morning. That snow, it doesn't pick up very well on our time cast, but I expect some snow showers still to linger at least until late this morning in that general vic vicinity southwest of the Syracuse area. And then we have some sunshine developing for this afternoon. No snow to worry about for this evening. We stay quiet. Once we get into the overnight, we do have a warm front that's going to warm us up a little bit going into tomorrow. It's going to bring some clouds to and a bit of snow, mainly north of Syracuse across the North Country, the Tug Hill, to get you going for your Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, a few light snow showers, maybe some rain showers mixed in as our temperatures are mild tomorrow. Tonight, this evening, our lows, they'll fall into the low 20s, and then we will rise closer to 30 degrees by the time we get to sunrise tomorrow. So it's going to be a warmer start tomorrow compared to today. It's going to be a warmer finish tomorrow, too, with highs close to 40 degrees in the afternoon. Afternoon, but then we cool back down. The roller coaster ride continues. Thursday and Friday, we have highs closer to 30 degrees with some mainly quiet weather, some snow showers for the weekend, and then we're back near 40 on Monday.